Hi all, welcome back to Makaza Verde. In today's video, I am talking about how we make our kitchen work because uh, when we were renovating, when we were planning this kitchen, we and also some other people around us were kind of wondering, is this not going to be too small of a kitchen? Like it is quite small uh comparing to the standard kitchens that most people have these days but at the same time we were quite certain that that we can make it work and a year later after living here i can now give you the answer have we made it work has it been enough have we had to use other spaces to store or do we have any regrets about what we've done here this week I have also done a lot of decluttering and deep cleaning in the house because Fabio is away for work for a week in Germany and I have a house to myself to do all this crazy decluttering <laughs> spray. And when I was decluttering I was just thinking about all these things. Like we have lived here for a whole year and we have really made the most of this space and I was just decluttering and thinking how how much I like this kitchen and it's probably because I got the chance to make it my my own make it exactly how it felt fit for us is probably the reason why I was able to enjoy it even if it is quite small and it is quite we have to be quite minimal with the things that we can have here so let me show you how we have organized it and how we have made it work. So for a reminder, this is all that we have here, all the top of the bottom and then this side. And then obviously the dining area where it's already, you have a lot of items that I've decluttered. I sh I'll show you that later. We do have also a kitchen in our garage, but we've only really have used it more recently when I, after I renovated it, well, updated it and cleaned up and organized in there. Uh, you can have a look at the video. I will put the link up here. It's only stuff there that is related to gardening, like jars and all my canning equipment and the canning goods that I have made because those things just have to be in a cooler space and this kitchen at the moment at least, not in winter, is quite warm and I just feel like it probably would not be good for all of those cans that I've made. Uh, we also have another fridge there but that again is because we have a garden and we have a lot of garden goods that need to be stored somewhere and because it's so hot a lot of stuff just can't be out, out of the fridge. But other than that everything that we have, everything that we use on a daily is here in this kitchen. So I think one of the quite important uh, things in this kitchen is how we make it work with such a small space is of course being quite minimalistic with things you know like this is all the dishes that we have and there is literally no other cups or glasses or any special guest dishes anywhere else um, except we have some like obviously some uh, storage Tupperware boxes and in drawer and some mixing bowls and things like that and obviously like um, baking trays and pots and pans are also here but those of dishes for eating that's all that we have and I don't really think it's quite minimalistic to be fair as we have quite a lot of stuff here like Look at the amount of cups we have and we have more glasses than this because some of them are in the dishwasher. I mean there's plenty to, to feed to feed uh, at least a family of four I would say. So one thing that I've been doing is um, another people were thinking this is because our ceiling is high it's 2 meters 80 
and those top shelves I cannot reach without stepping on a chair uh, and for that reason I put things up there that I don't use on a daily basis maybe but like also not like once a year okay the blender I use only in summer but like all of that shelf is up there is full of um, cooking baking trays for the oven baking I have like a um, mincing machine, <laughs> meat grinder uh, that I use several times a month. Same as the baking trays. I use them several times a month, but it's not every single week. And that's why I need those things in the kitchen, but they also don't need to be anywhere around here. And uh, yeah, I don't mind using a chair to just get those things every now and then. Then on this next level, I have, this is my pantry. Again, something that people might find weird. Like how, what do you mean? You don't have a pantry or you walk inside and there's like a nice a hole or big cabinet for a pantry or something like that. We don't have space for that. So this is all our pantry goods, all our dry food kind of thing. And, um, this I have just kind of like organized it by the the way I use it mostly and by categories and then I have like my pastas and rice and lentils and buckwheat and things like that over there and um, this is a shelf that I can reach so so the, so some of those things like pasta and rice I can reach and uh, without the chairs, so that's why they're like more at the front because I use them more often. Then at the top, I have some extra stock of like flour, uh, salt, and some of the things that I don't use again, like very often, like cacao powder or, or things like that. Then I have all the kind of other dry goods, like flour, other flour that I use more often cereals, oats, seeds, all this kind of stuff. Then we have like bread, bread section and crisps usually. You know, now I have like my homemade granola here and my homemade cookies that I put there to not leave them on the counter. And then I have little shelves here. That on the top is like some extra coffee, extra teas, just things that we really don't use at all almost. Then we have a whole shelf for our cookies and chocolates. And then we have a shelf that we use every single day. That's our tea and coffee. At the bottom here we have, this was kind of my place when I was putting this kitchen layout together in planner, in the IKEA kitchen planner. This is the kind, this was the place that started worrying me when I realized that on this side we don't have almost any space to store anything because this is a dishwasher. Yeah, this is under sink shelves which stores like cleaning stuff and products like that. And this over here is our only storage space to store something. Let me put it closer. This is only the the 40 centimeter, I think, uh, shelf, the width, where we can store some of some more of our food or dishes or anything that we need for the kitchen. So I decided to store here all our like can canned food or anything that's maybe not dry food, like a coconut meal or tuna or like sauces butter, cream, things like that. And again, this is a really nice way to store these things because I can actually see everything that I have. So all of this space is utilized very well. And that's the my next point in all of this, which I'm gonna show you on this side. So one of the biggest, uh, probably best, like ideas that I had in this kitchen was to to bring these four drawers in. These are not cabinets, these are drawers. 
and uh, and for some people they might think George that that's that's not utilizing the space to the maximum because kind of feels like in the shelf you can put more stuffing but the problem is yes you probably can put more stuff in if you have like more shelves in there but then half of those things you can't even reach half of those things you don't even see and um, and for me that meant I have yet more things that I need to think about that I, I can store but maybe not to use every day and I had plenty of things like that to already at the top you know, I need more space for things that I can use every single day that's accessible, easy to, to grab on a daily basis. Because as you can see, when you pull it out, you can just grab everything that you have. You can see everything. We can't see. No. <laughs> I can see, you can't see. All of that is something I can use on a daily basis. It, I don't have to think about like, oh, if I don't use this, then I can, you know, put it at the back. No, this is all that I can use every single day. Like this is all our pots and pans and, and I can just organize them in a way that it doesn't make a mess. Like maybe it might look a bit messy because it's just like it's, um, filled up. And here we have other, some other items that I have, like a toaster. Like this again is one of those things, um, this toaster. Um, we don't use it every day, but we use it maybe once or twice a week. So it's perfect to have it here instead of on, on a counter. All the utensils and the cutlery. And this drawer, I'm not gonna show, it's like full of our medicines and uh, and like proteins and protein bars and like cycling gels and things like that. Um, and that is all of the storage that we have in the kitchen because here we have an oven, then we have a washing machine and then the kitchen ends. And um, and in this kitchen planning, that was the the kind of the scary point. It's like there is a sink, there is a dishwasher, there is a washing machine, there is a oven. All of those things take the space from the bottom cabinets where you could store a lot of things. So we really, really had to maximize the, the kitchen space that we had. So in the end, I have like three main tips that I think that I have learned from having this smaller kitchen and living in in it for a year um, just to think three things that I've realized that is important to make it work and number one thing is being minimalistic don't over stock of things you don't need that many things in your kitchen or Maybe some people do, but not for us. And um, another thing is uh, is to maximize the space that you have in your kitchen. It's whether you use these kind of drawers like we do, so that you can reach for everything that you have in the in there, or you have like shelves and you use this kind of maybe ladder things to, so that you can actually see everything that you have. Like we have here these open shelves, we store things on them. This is, for us, it, there's no space for decoration on these shelves. This is for our everyday, everyday usage. Like uh, you can see here is like my teas, my spices and, and some other things, everything I use on daily basis. The third thing is to declutter often as regularly because even if we are trying to be minimalistic we try to not buy everything that we see and we really try to think about like do we need this, do we really need another pan or whatever. We still accumulate a lot of stuff and I will show you in a minute just how much stuff I'm getting rid of. Uh, or at least out of this kitchen and uh, yeah, it's, it's just going through everything even if it's still like, like your pantry I mean, it's just insane how many things you forget about that are at the back of the shelf that are like run out of date and like no matter how 
good you are at organizing or cleaning these kind of things it, there's always something that could be declutter that you don't use just that whatever you don't use just take it out of there put it somewhere else and don't keep it in the space that you want to utilize every single day and the bonus uh, tip is keep your counters as clean as possible what i mean is to don't over clutter them just try to remove as much things out of them as possible so that you have enough space to prepare your food and it will always feel like a lot more spacious if you don't have everything right there on, th on those counters and obviously we have things on the counter as well i mean everyone does but it works for me to to have Whatever I have out is something that either is not too much clutter or I use it every single day and it cannot go anywhere else. And uh, now I'm going to show you all the items that I've decluttered. And here are all of my items. I'm not saying that I'm throwing all of this out, but these are some items that I need to think about. Some of them I am throwing out, but definitely. But some of the other items I need to think about, do we really need them? Because, for example, the biggest clutter that we have is this juicer, which we used at the beginning, we stopped using it because it's not very good. Um, it, it needs so much fruit to, to even make some kind of juice out of it, so I don't use it. And, uh, and it's been sitting on top of the shelves for all of this year and I will just store it in the garage in a nice box if I don't use it within a year or half a year then I'm trying to get rid of it completely then we have some items like lots of uh, jar lids this was an extra one that I'm just gonna put in a motorhome because we don't have one there we don't need to in the house we never even use one because all of the cans have those nice openers here then i have some protein powder which is i'm sorry but absolutely disgusting <laughs> and i used it once I, or twice just to make sure and i think i'm just gonna have to throw it out because it's not good then we bought this pan for making eggs but unfortunately we didn't realize it doesn't work on our induction hub and I'm going to put it in a motorhome because we don't have any pans in there so at least we can make an egg when we go for a trip then I have some lids and an old um, baking tray which I'm gonna throw out because it's rusty uh, another pot which was an, again an extra one that we barely made any use out of I'm going to also put it in a motorhome because we don't have any pots there when usually when we go with a motorhome somewhere we bring the pots from our kitchen to into the motorhome and and like this I can just leave it there and it's always there I don't have to worry about it then I have some things like these and these that I'm not going to throw out but again I'm going to put it in the garage and another jar which all my jars and then plastic containers go in the garage so they're not supposed to live here and this is a box full of medicine that we had for Kobe including some vitamins like this is this is a full box I'm not gonna show the contents but I still need to think about what do we do with this. Some most people suggested that we donate it to some shelter or dog shelter because there's a lot of medicine that's very expensive and can be used still. I mean, it's still within date. And uh, another option is to give it into the pharmacy for them to recycle it so yeah these were my decluttering items and um, this was my decluttering week i have decluttered other spaces in the house but it's it's not as much and as um, necessary maybe as the kitchen uh, the other spaces just don't fill up as much like kitchen does for me at least for us so 
there's not that much to show, it's just some shelves and, uh, and a wardrobe. Um, but this is it for our video, I'll say goodbye here, I'm running out of battery, I just realized, so I'm gonna say quickly, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time, bye!